Hello, my name is Reggie and I'm with CodeSmith Tools. And today we'll discuss automation using the CodeSmith console or how you can use CodeSmith in your build environment. First of all, we'll take a look at the commands. Here we have the trace, trace.csp. It's a simple CSP with single output. And we can run that. Here we're on the file path already in the directory with that. And this is the normal command console that comes up with start cmd. Now, the command is cs, and then you put the file path to the csv you wish to generate from. And as you can see, hello.cs has been created. We'll look at this file real fast. Now, when it comes to a build environment, you have release builds and development builds, and you may have other types of builds as well. And sometimes the options for those builds are different. So, are different. so here we're going to take a quick look at the trace output. It has a boolean called print trace. And right now it's set to true, which is why that was generated. Now, if you're on a release environment, you probably don't want a trace being printed during uh, while the program is running. So we're going to go ahead and come back on here on this command, and we can add an option to this command, which is called property. We can set the print trace property to false. And then we can regenerate that file. Now if we come back in here to hello.cs once again, that has been removed. Now in order to use it on your build environment, as part of your build process, you're going to want to come in here and set the CSP to be to generate on build. And I'll show you how that works real fast in Visual Studio. Reloads the file. You can see now hello.cs has the right line back in it. So we're going to go ahead and delete this file. We'll close this. We'll come back here. Now we're going to go to the Visual Studio command console, which can be found in Visual Studio 2008, Visual Studio Tools, Visual Studio Command Prompt. Now here, we're going to want to head, go ahead and type MS build, and then the path to the project which we want to build. Go ahead and build that project. No errors, no warnings. Come back and we'll see that this file is here. And go ahead and open with Notepad. I'm going to say hello. Say hi and console. In, dot in dot read because I mean, if we go to hello. We can see that the trace is in the hello file. While we're on the console, there is another option that is nice to have. And that's if you've gone in and looked at any of the samples for CodeSmith, made any changes, deleted any of them, you can get all those back to the original state when you installed CodeSmith simply by typing CS reset samples. This will override any changes that you've made, so be careful when doing this. And voila, you have all your samples returned to you. Um, well, that's CodeSmith Console in a nutshell. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can contact us at community.codesmithtools.com. Once again, my name is Reggie, and thank you for your time.